Yes. Hello, everyone, and hello to the Libbies. Nathan, I can't believe we didn't know that's what the fans of uh, Libby Rodrigo were called, were Libbies. And I think you and I, are we allowed to call ourselves Libbies at this point? I know we're oh, new, but can we? Yeah, I'm a Libby. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I will self dub myself Libby. I'm okay. Libby. She's adorable. She's pretty. She's talented. She's amazing. I love her smile. I love her energy on stage. I think she's really great. I talked to you about this offline. It's the only hint I'll give. I'm starting to like her more than somebody else. That's all I'm going to say. If if anyone wants to at me, <laughs> that's fine. They can if they want to. I don't care. I, I didn't say who it like, was. Who, who is it? I, well, they can make up whatever they want. They can at me all they want. And if they want to make assumptions, that's their call. And they get as angry as they want. But who knows who they're getting angry at or why? I'm telling you right now, if I had free tickets to both shows on the same night, front row, I'd pick Olivia. I think they're two very different people, to be honest. They're just of course, completely of course. different spheres. And I didn't and so, tell you who I was talking about. Who, 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 no, who I know, I know, about? I know. I would say the same thing, except they're just so different from each other. Yeah, it would be hard. It would be a hard pick for me, honestly. It'd be a hard pick for me. Oh, don't um, get me wrong. I would love to see both front row or any row. Doing the impossible. I set myself mm-hmm. up for this impossible conversation, so I do apologize for the Livies for this long intro. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. It's a well, discussion. I guarantee kind of a lot with... of other people are having this conversation too. <laughs> well, that's just it. I feel like that's what I'm doing. I feel like I'm doing a conversation that people probably have had in their own brains or to some degree because it's it's natural to we've already done it. So I won't say who we're talking about because I don't want people to get mad at me. That's their own assumptions. That it's a natural conversation to have in this situation. That's all it is. So yeah, I don't okay. know who you're talking about, Ryan. It's oh, Nathan, don't do that. Out. That's going to get edited out. That's going to be edited out. I'm not doing it. I, I didn't nice. said anything. I haven't said a single word about anyone. I don't know who you're talking about. I love both artists very much. I'm just saying it's like when you have a favorite band, there's people mm. in the band that you connect to more than other members of the band. Though you like the band overall, but there's certain favorite members like the Beatles. My mm. favorite member is George Harrison. It comes to roses. Yeah. My favorite member is Izzy Stradlin, but I love the band. Mm. I'm mm-hmm. saying for these two artists, I love them both, but I seem to connect to the other one a little bit more. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Okay. We don't have tons of Olivia on our channel. We have a, a lot and a good chunk, but compared to some other artists, we don't have a we don't have hundreds of hours, so to speak. So I, I think it's just worth talking about her a little bit because yeah, she's still very new yeah. in her career and Change up my body and change up my face. I'm 
my first gut with the sound at the beginning. It changed over time, but mm -hmm. it had that okay. cranberry sound to me. Yeah. A little bit of the cranberries. Her vocals are so unique, unique that it was kind of yeah. like, I was like, irrelevant. Uh, yeah. Cranberry sound, but with Olivia singing. What an awesome combination. So, this mm -hmm. song for me, probably my favorite song. Ah, next to I'm sorry. <laughs> We're sympathetical today. I'm the same way. I tell it's my favorite. <laughs> Guy was reading the lyrics along with it because okay. really the lyrics are fantastic. The chorus line, when pretty isn't pretty enough, what do you do? And everybody's keeping it up. So you think it's you. I could change my body and change my face. I could try every lipstick, every shade, but I'd always feel the same because pretty isn't pretty enough anyway. It's wow. such a like a anthem, I would say, for young girls who are struggling mm -hmm. with that idea of trying to keep it keep it up and keep things pretty and and unfortunately some of that gets reinforced by girls themselves they often like sure. girls are sometimes their own worst enemies i know that a lot of guys are are douchebags and that's over here but if a guy is obsessed about your your beauty then that's a loser guy anyways mm. often it's girls that kind of are the ones that keep kind of outdo each other so the fact that yeah. olivia is so good at telling a story about how to just approach this whole topic of beauty i really enjoy this i think it's my favorite song i really like vampire but man this one this one took its place yeah. now yeah oh for sure everything we've heard from her granted she only has two albums but my goodness everything we've heard from these two albums has been really stellar i mean way beyond her years I mean, there was a time, it doesn't happen as much as it used to, but there was a time the young artists, the 60s and 70s, they were 20-something. They were very young. It's just good mm -hmm. to see these young artists coming out with very mature songs. I guess every artist is young at the beginning, but you get what I'm saying. Like, She seems so established so early. It's kind of freaky to already have this very mature, incredible sound during her second album. It's a real revelation. And this is a song everyone was saying in the chat. I heard Pretenders. I did hear New Order 2 people brought up. I heard Cranberries. It's all mixed in the cure. Yeah. Like you said, though, and I was thinking the exact same thing, regardless of the influences, and every band has influences, every artist, mm -hmm. despite the influences that she probably drew from, yeah, you're right. It's her voice, her lyrics, and that's what makes mm -hmm. it unique and amazing at the end of the day. So she has a great band behind her. They sound amazing. It's a great beat. Mm -hmm. I love the sound mm -hmm. of the guitar and the drums and the bass. It all sounded amazing. The icing on the cake and the large amount of icing on the cake is, of course, her incredible voice, lyrics, and the way she looks, the way she moves. She draws you in, and I don't know what it is. And Maybe that's mm -hmm. what I said at the very beginning of this video. There's something about her that draws you in. Uh, she feels more... I don't know what the word is, if grounded is the word, or if it's just uh, something about her as a young artist. And it just makes me excited that young people are liking her, that they're finding her appealing. I, I feel like I'm proud of her. I don't know what that means. I, you know, like I'm really proud of her. I, yeah. I think she's got her head on her shoulders and she seems mature. And yeah, I don't know. I'm really happy for her. And I'm already mm. kind of feeling protective of her. You know how we do that sometimes with her. She's a celebrity daughter, so to speak. I'm feeling protective of her. And I'm Olivia, Nathan. Mm. I'm Olivia. And I'm okay with oh. that. I see my own daughter in her so much. If you want, I think there's a reaction somewhere on here of me and my youngest daughter. They have a lot of facial features in common. I, I see a lot of my younger daughter in live in Olivia, very much a father daughter kind of feeling yeah, like a for sure. I'm protective of her. And I would say, you know, of people who come after Olivia, I'm kind of like, I'm ready. Why don't you yeah, dare bring them on? Don't you dare take them down. <laughs> yeah, come through me and Nathan first. We've got some things to say to you, punks. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Leave a comment on our channel about her. We'll delete yeah. it faster than you can faster than you can spin your head around. That's right. We got deleting right. power. We have deleting powers. We'll block you. How would you like them apples? <laughs> Never be able to comment on our channel again. You'll have to make sock account after sock account. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for All joining right. us for that. That was a great, uh, that was a lot of fun. Hope to see you on a future Olivia Rodrigo reaction, or you can check out some of the stuff we've done in the past. See you there.